guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about something. I posted a video about last week, um, a room tour, and you guys kind of went over uh, my bookshelf and you all went, oh my gosh, can you do my porg, my porg, Percy, what are you doing? My porg is named after me. She's just gonna fall, whatever. So I wanted to talk to you today about art block. Now, art block, I've done a video about this before, but I fully believe in art block. I believe it's a real thing. I don't believe that it's laziness or you're just, you're not just feeling the mood. I just believe that when a creator, when it comes to writing, it's a writer's block. When it comes to creating, there is a creator's block. There is an art block until you can find the right amount of inspiration to get you back on track. I do believe that the only way to cure an art block is inspiration. Not forcing yourself to draw, but to actually cure yourself, you just need inspiration to get your creative juices flowing again. I do believe that depression and other situations in life can cause art block. I fully believe that because when bad things are happening in your life, goodness, it can, it can really put a stop sign right in front of your creativity process but I also believe that in order to get through those hard times you should really consider jumping into some art just because it is a way to escape and I wanted to show you guys today my inspirational books that get me going so you probably have seen these before they're called the art of books so you can buy these books from Barnes and Nobles or you can buy them from Amazon now I'll tell you which one's my favorite this one right here the Art of Tangled, and it is, it's its all of Walt Disney's, the animation studios, and all the concept sketches for Rapunzel. Now, I get a ton of inspiration from this, because one of my favorite artists, Glenn Keane, he did most of the concept art for Tangled, so I get so much inspiration from Tangled, and Glenn Keane is a huge inspiration for me. If you don't know who Glenn Keane is, Glenn Keane is the artist who created Belle, Beast, Tarzan, Rapunzel, Ariel, oh my goodness, I could go on and on and on and on. You probably know who he is, but if you don't know who he is, go and look him up. He just won an Oscar last night. Here are two other amazing books. This one is just incredible. I mean, I am a huge fan of Inside Out. I love Inside Out. I think it's a beautiful film. And just reading this and looking more and more into the character designs and how everything is inspired, I mean, my goodness. If you want inspiration, just go and pick up one of these books and just read because it is beautiful. A non-Disney art of trolls that I bought and it is really, really pretty. And it comes with little secret things. These books are just so much fun and you guys have no idea. Just look at how much effort is put into each little character. I don't even know who this lady is and look how much effort is put into her character. Grandma Rosie Puff, we saw her for what? 10 seconds in the movie because she got eaten? I mean, oh my goodness. Look how much, this is just, this is just inspirational. So much inspiration. And another one of my favorites is of course Zootopia. I love Zootopia because I need a little inspiration. My porg is falling again. <laughs> I need inspiration if I want to draw animals as well. So it's fun to look at different critters and creatures and see how they're made. But then to see animals, oh my goodness. So much inspiration in these. I love this book. So more inspiration coming from actual animators that you know in everyday life. Glenn Keane is on top of my list for main inspirations. But then Tom Bancroft. Pick up these books, okay? If you see one of these books that interest you at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Barnes & Noble's on how to create characters, pick up one of these books because these artists take a lot of time to explain things to you. Love this book. And you see, I was even taking notes from it. It is just, it teaches you everything you need to know about being an animator. And then I get inspiration from my fellow YouTubers. <laughs> this is Pick Candle. Now, I told you guys I really want to doodle. And I really, really want to learn how to doodle. This book gets you to doodle. Pinterest. I know I say it weird. I say a lot of things weird. But Pinterest, Pinterest, whatever. Anyways, Pinterest is one of my go-to places for inspiration. Now, if you want to follow my board, 
my board, everything all on my board. Some of these are secret boards just because um, I have workout plans on some of them, so I keep them secret. <laughs> Anyways, or food. It's really annoying when I post really good looking food on Pinterest, or I see people post that on Pinterest and I get angry. Anyways, so the main board that I absolutely pull all my inspiration from is called Doodle Inspirations. Now you don't need these books that I just showed you to see all this concept art. You can just jump on Pinterest and jump on my Doodle Inspirations and you'll see a ton of concept art from Glen Keane. Okay, but my name on Pinterest happens to be Wonderland Girl. So it's not Dramatic Parrot, it's Wonderland Girl. I have all these amazing doodle boards. For example, I have one that's called Flananigans, which is just a bunch of painting projects. Um, I have one for my art classes. I have one for this board gets me. There's the food, there's the makeup that I keep secret. <laughs> the doodle inspiration boards are a bunch of doodles that just go, make my creative juices just go flowing. And it's got a bunch of proportions, it's got some original pictures from movies, so this is a huge board that I would encourage you to follow. If you don't have a Pinterest, create a Pinterest account because there is so much inspiration on there, so many craft ideas and so many painting ideas, you guys have just got to check it out. Another huge venue for me when it comes to creativity is good old Instagram. So get your Instagrams ready because I'm going to tell you to follow all these Instagram accounts. Not that this is a shout out video, I'm just telling you who gives me inspiration when I get art blocks. So go and follow these people so that you can get inspiration from them as well. Max Steven is one of my favorite artists on Instagram. By Jamie Rose is an amazing artist that inspires me. She has wonderful Zentangle art. Wendy Iris, I did a, a, a video with her. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but Shomo Draws, <laughs> it's right here. Anyways, Shomo Draws draws from everyday life. She uses her husband and her little baby boy as an inspiration, and I just love that. I love that she can draw anything from everyday life. Love her art. Maxine Munro. She does amazing art. Um, one of my all-time favorite artists happens to be Megan Kerrigan Fine Art. We have very similar watercolor styles, but she is so much better. And I just love her watercolor art. I could look at her art for hours, but Megan Kerrigan happens to be one of my all-time favorite artists up there with Max Steven. Um, Reb Chen 95 she just has a really unique animation style. I wish I could be that good. That you can, oh, it's so simple, yet you can always tell who's who with her characters. The Animated Life is one of my all-time favorite Instagram artists when it comes to Instagram just because she can draw anything and find inspiration from anywhere and she does it so well in every single one of her styles. My, one of my all-time favorite Instagram artists. Of course there's always Draw with Jazza and Kat Volk. They just have really inspirational pieces of art to always put up. Fabi Fabio Val Valet, I'm probably saying that so wrong. <laughs> Angie Nesca, I love all of her art. She has such inspirational art. I love everything that she does. Nicole Garber does the coolest sketches and she just does them, ah, I just love it. And they're so clean and they're so wonderful. I just wish that I could do it that, I could doodle that well. And then there's Brittany Lee. Brittany Lee, you've seen her art everywhere. It's just amazing what she can do and she cuts out just amazing little doodles. She can cut them out, you don't understand. <laughs> but Brittany Lee has done several books and I just love her stuff. Seeing other people's style just makes you want to get your own style. Now going about your style, I have a whole video about that on how to create your own style. It's just a matter of time and a matter of practicing, but when you have art block, it's really difficult to go about finding your art style and wanting to doodle just a little bit. But that's why I want you guys to go ahead and find, ask for one of these books for your birthday. Pick one of your movies, one of your favorite animated movies. Chances are there is an art of book. And ask your parents, please buy this for me for my birthday, or save up your money, go mow someone's lawn now that it's spring and the grass is growing again, to get the money to buy one of these books because it is full of so much information and it's full of so much inspiration. Information and inspiration. I have read every single one of these books just because I want to read how other creators go about getting their own creating process. 
but if I were to tell you to get one of these books right now, I would tell you to get The Art of Tangled. It's my favorite. It's full of a lot of um, beautiful things, and that movie in general is just a beautiful movie, so I would tell you go get The Art of Tangled just to get inspiration. If you're not a big princess person and you want inspiration, then get the Zootopia book. Zootopia is beautiful. It is a beautiful book. I would say one of those two to get for one of your first art of animation books. Art of blah 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 blah. <laughs> Another huge thing when it comes to inspiration is surround yourself with art friends. If you don't have if you don't have any people that you want to hang out with in your art class, then find an art class that has people you can connect with. They don't have to go to your school. Find an after art school program and go there and find inspiration. Create more do more and you just need to surround yourself with people who want to inspire you. I have many friends who are artists, I have students who are amazing artists. I look at their art and I go, wow, this is amazing. Can I get can I can I can I borrow your creativity, please? Surround yourself. Bing bong. Stop. These people just don't want to stay still. Stay. <laughs> just surround yourself with creativity and make sure you look and you watch for the people who are will inspire you. I watch YouTubers who inspire me all the time. They inspire me. They want they want to make me keep going like Bailey J, Pignit, Jazza, Cat Vogue, Wendy Iris, all there. They inspire me to keep going just because they're so talented and I just want a piece of that talent. So make sure you're watching the right kind of people. Don't watch anything negative. Be inspired and look for the positivity in fellow artists. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more and more doodle videos and make sure you hit that thumbs up if this video inspired you. Have a most wonderful day. Bye! Do, 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 do.